Hi Cancer, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's take a look at what hidden messages your person would like to say to you with the Hidden Truth Oracle deck. All right, Spirit, what hidden messages does this person want to say to Cancer? Please show me. First card is, I will wait for a sign from you. I will wait for a sign from you. Okay, what else? I wish I could take back my words. I wish I could take back my words. At the bottom of the deck, we have, I am afraid to contact you. Okay. All right, well, we'll see what that's about. Let's continue with the reading. Let's see, um, how is this person currently seeing or viewing you, Cancer? How is this person currently seeing or viewing Cancer Spirit? Please show me. First card is the Tower in Reverse, the Eight of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Strength card upright. They feel like you're rejecting them, Cancer. They feel like you're, you've turned your back to them. You're walking away from them. You're resisting um, contacting them or reaching out to them. They do feel like there's unfinished business between you two, but they feel like you're trying to not get involved with them. If that makes sense, they feel like you're kind of um, maintaining distance on purpose between you and them. All right, let's take a look at what are your current feelings just to see if that's accurate or not. What are Cancer's current feelings for this person, Spirit? Okay, what do we have here? Here we have the Magician upright, the Three of Pentacles upright, Six of Wands in reverse, Temperance in reverse. Some of you want to work things out with this person, but you feel like it's not reciprocated. You feel like the energy that you invest 
or have invested um, in this relationship with this person um, hasn't been returned back equally to you. To you or to the relationship. You feel like it's it's only you, the one who has been um, putting in the work or putting in the effort. You feel like there's a lack of balance mm -hmm. and a lack of um, reciprocal energy between you and this person. Tell me more about the magician spirit. High priestess in reverse and the six of pentacles upright. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. You're looking for that balance. You're looking for that equal 50-50 um, exchange with, with someone. But you don't feel like you have that with, with this person. What's the three of pentacles? The Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Cups in reverse. You feel like they gave up on you? Do you feel like they, they turned their back on you? You feel like you did all you could do with this person and within this relationship? You, you did the best you could do and you feel like they didn't really value you or... Um, yeah, you feel like they took you for granted. Three of Cups and the world in reverse. Or, yeah, the world. For some of you, you might feel like this person had um, a third party situation. Yeah, Seven of Cups, Three of Wands. Some of you feel, or some of you feel like this person was keeping their options open. You didn't feel like they were being exclusive with you. Hmm. Okay. How are you seeing this person, um, Cancer? What is your view of them? Let's quickly take a look at that. What What is Cancer's view of this person? Current view. Page of Cups in reverse. Hangman. Six of Cups. And the Fool. I see you have feelings for this person, Cancer, though. But you are disappointed um, by the lack of progress um, within this relationship because you do, you do have feelings for them. What's the fool doing here? Yeah, Five of Cups in reverse and the Justice card upright. So, Cancer, I feel like you've overextended yourself here with this person, is what I'm sensing. Some of you have been overly generous or overly um, yeah, overly generous or overly like flexible with this person, maybe even forgiving, overly forgiving. For some reason, I'm getting that. Yeah, you keep wanting to, you, you keep hoping that things will work out between you two. Or this is something that you did in the past. Like, I feel like you kept holding on or hanging on to, the, to what you felt was the potential between you and this person. All right, let's look at your person. Let's see, what are their um, current feelings for you?
What are this person's current feelings for cancer? Nothing wanted to come out. Let's see. First card we have in regards to their current feelings for you. Four of Swords in reverse. Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Knight of Wands. At the bottom, four of Pentacles. with the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So there's definitely like um, someone who has been resistant towards opening up to you and opening, to, opening up to this relationship. They've been very much in their head with the Eight of Pentacles. Well, um, what, what have they been in their head about, Spirit? What's the Eight of Pentacles? Clarify that. We have the Six of Cups. Oh, the past. And the Two of Cups in reverse. You know, for some of you, this is some sort of ex or some sort of, you know, previous relationship. Um, some sort of third party situation that they haven't closed the door on fully. Um, they are coming up as single though with the Nine of Pentacles, but emotionally they might still be attached to someone from the past. But I do see that they have real feelings for you, Cancer, and they do want a new beginning with you. With the Ace of Pentacles, they do desire a new beginning with you they are looking at you as someone who they could have a happily ever after with with the ten of cups hmm. i'm getting an, a little bit of a newish vibe for some of you this is kind of a newish person I do feel like they're very hardworking with the Eight of Pentacles upright. Um, they take a lot, a lot of time to make decisions. Yeah, they take they take a lot of time to make decisions, to feel confident in their decisions. Um, this is someone who who needs to feel secure in what they're going to do before they do it. And I feel like this is someone who has been weighing out the pros and cons and, you know, being very analytical, being very practical also, while at, while at the same time, I do feel like they've been trying to embrace their feelings and acknowledge their feelings. Um, they're trying to to have a, a balance here. They're trying to create a balance within themselves. They're trying to um, embrace, you know, reality and also embrace their feelings. This doesn't feel like the person we were talking about, Cancer, though. I, I almost said Gemini. Um, some of you might be dealing with a Gemini. Because I feel like we were, we were talking about someone who um, was very one-sided. Okay. 
Give me one second here. Yeah, exactly. We were talking about someone who was being very one-sided with you. I don't feel like that's this person, though. I feel like this is a, a different person, Cancer. Although you might have had that interpretation, though, of this person. I can see that with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you have the wrong interpretation of, of whoever you're dealing with, you know? Um, you have the, the wrong assumption. You're, you've made a wrong assumption. Because they're holding back. And I feel like this person is holding back, but it's not because they don't want, it's not because they don't want to work together with you. It's just that this is someone who, who has the tendency to analyze overanalyze all of their decisions, you know, and it takes a long time for them to feel secure enough to take any type of action towards anyone. And I feel like they tend, they tend to be very closed off or they, they, that's the way they show themselves, like with a tough, tough exterior. But I do feel like on the inside, they are very soft and gentle and they do care. They just hide it under a tough exterior. We do have the Nine of Pentacles here though. So I do feel like they've been a little bit um, arrogant in a way with the Nine of Pentacles. But I don't feel like that's their true identity. I do feel like they are, um, they're a good person, but they do have a tendency to self-sabotage and, and to give the wrong idea by the way they act and the way they behave. Um, they give off, you know, the wrong type of energy that doesn't really, describe them in in reality they want things to be perfect they don't want to um, waste time they don't want to make mistakes so they don't want to be impulsive also with the knight of wands so like i said they take a long time to like review things and um you know, look at all the details and pick things apart and weigh out the pros and cons. And, you know, they're very, they're very strict, you know. Yeah, they're very strict. And I also see, though, that they're resisting, though, with the Nine of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. This is someone who's definitely resisting to, to get too emotionally attached to you because they feel like they're not ready for it right now. They're not ready for any deep emotional attachment right now. But they do see you as someone who they could have a future with and who they could have a happily ever after with. And they are interested in commitment with the Ace of Pentacles. And I do feel like eventually they will be reaching out to you, Cancer, um, with roses for some reason. <laughs> I'm looking at the, at the flowers, flowers or roses that this person's carrying. Yeah, I feel like they're going to make it up to you, Cancer, basically. They're going to find a way to make it up to you because they know that they've been um, dragging things, you know, they've been dragging things out and taking taking too long to make a decision. OK. OK, hopefully that makes uh, sense to you, Cancer. I'm going to stop the reading right here. If this reading helped you if it, and if it resonated, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.